Ocean life is very dependent on its delicate food chains. Almost all marine life depends on plants in some way or another. Fish eat plants, bigger fish eat those fish, sharks and other prig predators eat those fish, and so on. Something as simple as the plants not being able to grow can completely throw off the balance of the food chain. A reason these plants wouldn't be able to grow is due to the garbage patches in the ocean, such as the northern Pacific gyre. Gyres are groups of ocean currents flowing in circular patterns, where debris, trash, plankton, and other sea life forms get caught, creating garbage patches. All trash that doesn't make it to the landfills is what ends up in the patches. Oftentimes, the trash comes from sewage lines and trash on beaches. Then over time, it accumulates in the gyres. One of the biggest problems with the gyres and garbage patches is that they mostly contain plastic, which no natural process can break down, so it can virtually remain in the ocean forever. Over time, the plastic gets torn apart into smaller fragments, which affects the fish because they see the plastic as food, and when they eat the plastic, it releases harmful toxins and can clog up the fish. The effect then spreads through the food chain as the fish that is intoxicated gets eaten. Plastic is also harmful when various animals get caught in it. Since the cycle of life is so delicate, the garbage patches create an unnatural factor harmful to animals that throws off the balance of life. Since the gyres are clearly a big issue, there are a few small organizations that are trying to clean up the messes. Small groups and non-profit organizations try to go out into the ocean to pick up the trash. There are also organizations that help trapped animals in the gyres to be free and clean again. Biodegradable products are also being emphasized more so that when trash does end up in the ocean, it can be broken down. Even though there are a few groups trying to take care of the problem, there still isn't enough people or money to completely clean up the ocean. Because of the size of the patches, it is a big task that no one wants to take the responsibility of taking care of. To th show the extent of how bad the problem has gotten, Captain Charles Moore found that the ratio of plastic to 200 plankton was 6 to 1 in the northern Pacific gyre. He also found that 90% of the carcasses of albatross found contained plastic. Since the patches have gotten so out of hand, scientists estimate that the Pacific garbage patch is 3.5 million tons of trash. The cost of cleaning up such large amounts of trash in the middle of the ocean is very costly. Like the pyrolysis process, where plastic is broken down into fuel oil. That would cost $7 million per setup. Since the patches are in the middle of the ocean, they are hard to get to in the first place and to efficiently clean up and no government wants to take the responsibility of that task, especially since most of the debris has been previously broken down into smaller pieces, so it is harder to clean up, and also because of the fact that governments don't know what they would do without the trash once they got it out of the ocean. Since the gyres have become so overwhelmingly packed with debris and trash, most aren't willing to take the initiative to solve the problem. In order for our ocean's gyres to be completely cleaned up, everyone capable of helping needs to do so, because one small organization can't do it alone. First, a plan of action needs to be conducted. Roles need to be assigned, funds need to be created, and the designated areas for the trash after it is out of the ocean need to be made. It is recommended that people in charge of cleaning up the debris pick the biggest pieces first and work their way, their way down to the smaller ones. In order to clean up the small pieces, new cleaning techniques need to be designed to efficiently filter out all of these pieces since they are one of the biggest problems within the garbage patches. If different organizations and countries are willing to commit and work together, the garbage patches can be cleaned up in no time. Governments need to work together to put a stop to this disaster before it's too late.